For this video presentation, we're going to be looking at the eFix Apprentice Hub. In order to find it, I'm first of all going to open up my search engine. I'm using a tablet for this. You may be using a PC or a phone. And I'm going to put eFix with double X dot co dot UK. Press enter. I go to our website. And then I'm presented with a screen that may look very similar to this. Remember, over time, this screen will change, but you're still looking for the same key information. So if you look at the top bar, home, products, fun stuff, the Apprentice Hub, which is we're going to look at in this video, events and sign up. Top right hand corner as well, there is another sign up and sign in box. And if you sign um, up in that section there, it allows you to have some extra features within the Apprentice Hub, some downloads, etc. Often when you're scrolling through the website, it will also ask you to sign up for the newsletter, which is slightly different. Again, if you sign up for that, you'll receive our monthly newsletter as well. It doesn't cost you anything to do. It's just a, a, an email and a password in order to do so. However, you might be opening it up on your phone and not a tablet and PC. And in that case, it will look like this. Noting in the top right hand corner, three lines. Often they're called the hamburger. Operate that. You'll see it opens up now. Again, home, products, fun stuff, Apprentice Hub, events and sign up. And of course, you'd go in through the Apprentice Hub that way. And it looks slightly different for layout as we move forward. And I'll talk about that as we go through. Let's get into the Apprentice Hub next. So you're confronted with the, the first part of the Apprentice Hub, which has a video on the right hand side. I expect over time for the number of videos to appear here to increase. If you were to watch and play that video, which I recommend you do, it's how you can nominate your college, or college lecturer or college facility to have a visit from the team at eFix. We'll bring down the big red van, the brand studios will come to your college and hopefully me and Joe can interact um, with your learners. Maybe we can bring down some Lotronics kits and do some science and principles experiments. Maybe we can look at things like, I don't know, kinetic switches, etc. Very worth checking that out and working out how you can nominate your college we're trying to get out to one of them every single term. So let's move down and look what this is all about. We've got a practice exam question section. Often it's the thing that people most search for in order to get them through them final exams. And we've got a section here to help you do that. Yours will be stacked one on top of each other. If this is being on a phone, we're currently in three in a row on a tablet and a PC. So we've got exam questions that are multi-choice based on installation theory electrical science and principles, and health and safety. We'll come back to those in a minute. If we scroll up still, some more we can see we've got learning resources, and within the learning resources, you've got video content to help you with PVC Twin and Earth, industrial wiring systems, electrical testing. And again, the next section, again, video-based, electrical science and principles, recommend you take a really good look at this section. It's generally the bit that people struggle with most during their electrical studies. We've got level one, level two, and level three science and principles. They all build on each other. So even if you start an apprenticeship at level three, it would be worth working yourself through the other two sections to build deeper understanding of this knowledge. The next section down has some support on the 18th edition wiring regulations. And over time, we'll have opinion pieces by myself and Joe falling within those two slots as well. If you look at the very bottom here, you can see this download area. This is the one where you'd need to sign in in the top right hand corner, as expressed before, in order to access the, the documentation that we'll put in there. We're planning on putting things that will help both the college lecturer, notes that me and Joe have written over the years, and also additional material perhaps to help students try and remember formulas, etc. And as you can see here at the very bottom of this section, this is the sign up section for the newsletter which is different to the one in the top right hand corner, which allows you to enter this download area. We may come back to that in the presentation later on. So let's look at these questions. That's generally why people are searching the web in order to help them pass exams. We generally do the health and safety exams first at level one and level two, and the apprenticeship framework as well, which is at level three. So let's have a look at the questions in the health and safety section. And we can see we've got health and safety, one, two, and three. Remember, they'll be stacked one on top of each other if you're looking at it on a phone. And as I scroll down, we can see that we've got 15 sets of questions. That means there's 150 multi-choice questions to help you with your health and safety studies. Let's go back and look at set number one. So if I click on set number one, 
we will bring up the question. So here we have a question based on health and safety. So what type of sign is shown below? Not what is the sign telling you? So it's telling you danger electricity, but we want to know the type of sign. Let's go for warning, that's a warning sign. Let's go next. You'll notice that once you've pressed to the second question, the next bar drops to the bottom. The previous bar is at the top, which allows you to toggle back to the question you've just completed. So again, question's got a picture. Not all of them will have pictures, but wherever possible I did insert pictures. So what type of sign have we got here? Safety condition, hit next. And this is the third of the questions I'm going to do of the 10. I'm not going to go through them all with you. What type of sign is shown below? And I'm going to go for that is a mandatory sign. Okay, and I submit my answer. And we go on to the next question. I will go through a set of questions in a different set, perhaps in installation theory, and just miss all the questions out so you can see what the end screen looks like. But I'm not wanting to go through and answer all the questions correctly for you at this time. Let's go back to the Apprentice Hub. So let's pick a different... Um, section to look at. So we've got some videos before we go to any more questions. So let's imagine we were looking at, let's go for electrical science and principles. Let's go for electrical science and principles level two. There's a familiar face and there's Joe. And this is one of Joe's YouTube videos and it's all about what is electricity. And the one after it is the basic components of an electrical circuit. So these will be fundamental in building your knowledge towards your electrical science and principles at level one, level two, and level three, depend on where you're studying. I recommend you check those out. Again, toggle back, I'm gonna go apprentice up. And now let's have a look at a set of questions within the installation theory. Slightly different here. We've actually got some that are on a actual subject. So we're looking at the first set there being all about PVC cables, the middle section being um, about conduit and then ADS for the, the last section before we scroll through and then we've got random questions within each section of 10 being um, electrical installations 1, 2 and 3 so they're all random questions so how many of these have we got? Let's keep going through so we're over 15 sets we'll be on 27 now so what? we keep going, keep going so we are up to 48 sets of questions, plus the three that was actually uh, subject specific. We've got there 510 multi-choice questions on installation theory. So in other words, installing wiring systems. That will be covering level one, level two, and a very good foundation understanding for level three. So we'll go back to one of these sets. Perhaps we'll pick one of the ones about a, a particular subject. So if we come all the way up maybe to the ones on conduit, so, here we go. Click on the ones to do with installing conduit. This time I'm not going to answer the questions. I'm just going to go next through all of them so you can see the end one. You see not all questions have pictures, but the second one does. We go next, next. So we're working our way through the questions. Okay. Uh, we're nearly at the end. Let's pull it down. We'll, uh, so we're at the final question when submit comes up. So at this stage, if you don't believe you've answered them all, you can go back and obviously review your questions. Make sure you've answered them before moving forward. I do apologize at this stage. We had some issues with the font. We did the whole of the questions into Homer, inserted them into the actual software package, and it stays into Homer on a PC as well as an Android device. But for some reason, if you're opening this on an Apple product, occasionally it changes the font to a different style of font. I apologize for that. There's not a lot I can do about it, and I'm sure it won't ruin your pleasure of doing the questions. We'll submit these. We expect to get no right, and we are zero from 10. So we've got none of the questions correct. But we can see as we scroll through now, if you had got, say, nine out of 10, you could see the one that was wrong. Revisit the same set of questions are in the same order. And then you can either ask your college lecturer or you can work it out for yourself to submit another answer. That's that section there. Let's go back to the Apprentice Hub. Let's have another look at some videos. So if we went into this section here, let's look at electrical testing under the learning resources section. Go electrical testing. I recognize that gentleman there. And we're looking at introducing basic 
uh, continuity of CPC and polarity test, and then the second video down introduced insulation resistance test, and that's coming off GSH Electrical on YouTube's channel. Okay, so there we go. So we've got access to those videos via that. Another way into seeing some learning resource material. Back to the Apprentice Hub. Let's go down to that very bottom box, which was the one that was dealing with these downloads. So we've got the download area here. If we click into there, aha, because we are not signed in, we'd need to sign in with our email address and password that we've created. And if you notice at the very bottom there, it does say sign up as well. So even when you're in here, if you want to sign up, you can. Once you've created your uh, password with your email address, which is free to do, um, you will see the stuff that me and Joe uh, position in here to allow you to download. Currently, there's a document in there that I believe will help college lecturers. It's eight jobs in the workshop on PVC wiring. So it takes you uh, from the very basics through to a, a simple socket circuit as a ring final. So again, that's for a college lecturer. I've got some more documents ready to go, things like the common science and principles formulas you need in your, your first six months and things like that will appear in that section there. So again, if you fancy having a look at that, you just need to sign up, it is free to do so. So let's go back. So that's the Apprentice Hub from eFix. We expect it to change over time. We expect to add more um, video content to it and we'll probably add more questions as we move on. Again, if there's something you'd like to see in this section, feel free to, to email us. Uh, via the website and if it's something that me and Joe can do we'll add that to the Apprentice Hub. I hope this video has been some help.